Um, my current handicap at the moment is 10. Um, probably a little bit lower than what it should be. I was 14 and then I got cut, but I'm a bit inconsistent at the moment. In terms of golf courses, I've been very lucky to play numerous ones. Now, what's my favourite? Um, I think the old head in Kinsale, uh, just because um, each hole, you, even if you're playing terribly, the views are normally pretty good unless the fog comes in. Um, up there would, would be a congressional as well. I got to play congressional with the On Course Foundation, so, uh, which was pretty special, but I think, uh, I think Old Head just edges it. Um, I got into golf basically when I turned professional at rugby and joined Bath. It was, uh, it was something that everyone did on their, their, their day off. Um, so it sort of started that way and it, it went from there. We were eternal summer golfers and whenever it rained uh, we, <laughs> we never went out and played golf but um, yeah through the summer so you, you probably get to a nice handicap by the end of the summer and then it just fell apart over the, whilst you were playing and your shoulders were hurt so you couldn't swing a golf club and then you tried to get it back over the summer again. The best golfer when I was playing for England uh, it'd be quite close. We had quite a good generation who liked to play um, through most of that England team, but I think probably the best one, it, it's going to pain me to say it, Nick Beale was the best when he was around in the early days of when I was with England, but then Austin's probably the best now in terms of, of, of playing, but he does cheat. Um, his handicap is completely bogus. He plays off nine when he should be off about five, but um, that was uh, he'd probably have to take the mantle, I think. The worst golfers in a rugby team are generally your props, so Jason Leonard does play uh, golf, but when uh, you're the, as short as Jason is, as wide as Jason is, and have had to push in a scrum for 20 years, um, it's pretty hard to swing a golf club, so I think Jason would probably have to go down with the worst in the team. I think the best part of my game would be, that's a very good question, uh, it would probably be, uh, well it'd be my four iron, so around there, so sort of 200 yards into a green I quite like, um, and I'm okay at chipping. The worst changes is either being off the tee or putting. <laughs> If I can get off the tee, I normally play well, um, as long as my putting goes well, but those two are the most inconsistent parts of my game. Um, I've been lucky enough to meet a few guys. Freddie Couples is a very nice, like, an unbelievable guy. Um, obviously, it's a sad day today. We've lost Arnold Palmer today, uh, or last night, so you know, he, he changed the game for everyone in terms of every modern day pro. Um, but if I had to pick one, I, I do like Freddie Couples, I just think he's the coolest man on the planet and, and he has said to me that I hit a nice seven iron, so he goes up in my estimation straight away. Luckily he didn't see me play the rest of that round, but I hit one nice seven iron. I've managed to roll a few golf buggies, I've I've managed to do fall in a few lakes, um, so there's quite a, there's quite a few there's quite a few and nothing really humorous. Played in a golf day, and I thought it'd be a clever idea that the shortcut to my ball was to jump a stream. So I jumped the stream. The the banks were very soft. My feet sunk into the banks. I fell backwards into the stream. It was the fourth hole. I had to play the rest of the hole <laughs> with black trousers up to my crotch, which was quite uncomfortable and didn't look good. <laughs>